All right, guys, I'm here on the putting green in Sweden with my good friend, Max. Yeah, I actually have some friends. Max is the biggest golf YouTuber in Sweden. Super cool to hang out with famous people like you, Max. Really cool. But also, Max is a full-time instructor, all right? We, and you were picking my brain here on the putting green uh, about putting and especially distance control. You give hundreds of lessons every year, and you know how important it is for a player to have good distance control on the greens. So uh, I explain a concept a calibration system really that I use on the greens that you thought this could help a lot of players so yep. let's put it on video anyway so it's a similar system that Bryson DeChambeau use okay Bryson has a lot of crazy ideas ideas but uh, this is a really good one that you can learn from okay so by calibrating your putting stroke I mean that I measure how far the ball rolls depending on how far I take the putter right back okay so I have three really positions that I look for I measure how far does the ball roll when I swing the putter head back to my right toe, how far does it roll when I swing the putter head just outside the right foot, and how far does the putter uh, the ball roll when I swing my hands outside my right knee. So just to demonstrate, if we start with the right toe, I hit a couple of putts here and I swing the putter head back to the right toe and through. Let's hit a couple of ones here, see that's one, then back to the right toe and through. And then one more, back to the right toe and through. Okay, perfect. So they exactly the same distance there. What I do then is that I measure exactly how far that is, okay? So that's about, you know, three paces. Let's say it's for a Europeans, two and a half meters, yep. okay? So if then you have a putt on the, on the course, it's a flat putt here. So this is, let's say this is just over two meters, so not really two and a half because it's a little bit uphill. Now I know exactly how far I have to take the putter back. Okay, so I know to me, for me to hit it to that distance, I need to put it back to the right toe and through, and the ball will roll the same distance, okay? So that's perfect. So that's the first position, and then I also measure, okay, let's do the second one, it's just outside the right foot and through. Then I do the same procedure. I measure exactly how far that is, let's say that's five meters, and then when I come to the golf course and I have a five meter putt, I know exactly how far I have to take the putter back, okay? When you don't have any pressure, it's pretty easy to get the right distance. But being a tournament golfer, I promise you, if you have some type of, you know, if you have some type of feedback that you know, okay, if I take it back there, it will roll five meters. It's going to help you tremendously when you're very nervous over a five meter putt for a playoff or for a win. If you have something to fall back on, then it's going to help you a lot. And it's going to help the amateur, the amateur even more because they don't have as much time to practice so if you know exactly how far the ball how far the ball rolls on those distances if you for example have a putt in between here let's say it's four meters you know okay it's it's a little bit more than right toe but it's not as much as right outside the foot okay so this system is great if you want to calibrate your stroke to improve your distance control give it a try see if it helps you